Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms, and today is day 15 of the 25 days of Thriftmas. So today we are actually going to be flipping some old vintage doors. So a couple months ago, I believe now it has been, I received uh, actually a letter um, at my PO box and it was from a viewer and she wanted me to, or she offered to me to go to her home and I could pick anything I wanted for free. So I went on a Saturday morning and I only had a limited amount of time to go and pick but I literally filled up the back end of my vehicle. I had so much fun doing that. And I do have a YouTube video showing what I got in my haul. Um, but I'm taking two doors that I got from her and we are flipping them today. So follow along while I show you what I do to transform these beautiful doors. On a recent video, I showed you how I was given the opportunity to go to a viewer's home and pick for free. I came back with quite the haul and these two doors were part of them. Now, I love how chippy and beautiful they are, but there's a lot of bare wood spots and I really wanted these to pop, so I decided uh, I'm sure I'm going to get some kickback, but I have decided to add vintage linen by DIY. Now, my whole goal here is not to do a full coverage at all. I'm just going to take a my brush and kind of like dry brush it on here and there. I just want to add a little bit of you know, that white to it to kind of make it really pop. And then what I'm going to do after... I'm only applying one coat, just like I said, random. You're going to still see some of the wood. Some areas will be a little bit thicker, some a little bit thinner, so you can see through it. And then I am going to take my hand sander and I am going to just go outside and distress it here and there. Uh, I just, again, want to make it look like it's not been freshly painted, but that it actually looks like like it's distressed and worn. Uh, I just feel bad that I wish these doors would have had more of that chippiness. And if it would have, then I would have just sealed as is and probably left just the way it was. I just want it to, like I said, add just a little bit of something, something to this to really make them pop against my display or where I'm displaying them. Here's another view and you can see it's just really a lot of wood. Uh, there are areas that do have like that chippy paint look, um, but most of it, just from the years of wear and tear of the doors, a lot of that must have just chipped off. So I am just going in, like I said, real random and just um, swiping here and there. The other thing too, if you notice, I am only doing around, just around the edges of the center. I do have a different idea of how I'm going to tie the center in and it is with something totally different. So we're going to add something to the center to make it just give it a little bit more character. Uh, so I'm just doing the around the edges of the center. All right, I went outside, I distressed the heck out of it. I made sure too in the areas where there was still some of that chippy paint that I let that pop through and I brought through some of the grain of the wood. I absolutely am loving it at this point. We are now going to seal it with Big Top. I am even going to seal the center and the back because I do not, especially with the back, I do not want any more of this paint to chip off. And by sealing it, it really uh, gives it, um, it just helps ma you know maintain uh, that chippy goodness. And I even am sealing the hardware so I go through, I completely coat it, and I just do one even coat over the entire piece. Then I'm going to let it dry, and then we're going to come back, and we are going to start adding the center pieces. 
If you were watching one of my lives, I found an entire box of these at the dollar store. And I had been searching for them for a while. So when they had the entire box, I bought the entire box. And I've been using these on many different items. But today we are going to take uh, these and cut them down and use them for the center. So if you have one of these or if you don't, I would highly recommend getting one of these little paper cutters. I think I picked this up at Walmart. It has helped me with so much stuff and it's not that expensive. Uh, I'm just taking it, putting in quite a bit of pressure on it, um, going back and forth and cutting off the excess on both sides. Now, if you don't know, um, these do have like a sticky backing and when you cut them apart, the sticky backing comes off. So I just rip that off and then I cut off the other other side. And what I've discovered too, I must have left just a little bit of that stickiness on one of the edges. So when I was trying to line it up, it actually stuck to the cutter. So I took off that and then I just trimmed the other side. And basically it, it actually worked out pretty perfect. It only took three of these and they fit perfect right on top of, I stacked them right on top of each other. And, um, then it covered the total inside of that door. So here is what it looks like to this point. So I, I put them in there just so you guys would get a visual of how or where my vision is going with this. And now this is where we're going to take it from the silver look of these and we're going to start creating. So I'm using black velvet from DIY Paint and I actually applied one coat, I let it dry, and then I went back and I applied another coat. Uh, DIY Paint has excellent coverage, uh, it's highly pigmented, uh, but these did require two coats. I'm thinking because of like the type of material it's made out of, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then from there, what I do after I let it completely dry, I did seal it with Big Top and then I let that dry. After both of those were dry, then I went in and I applied one even coat of vintage linen. That was the same color that I used on the actual door. I did apply two coats of the vintage linen to this. I did let them dry in between coats. And here you can see I'm actually using my hair dryer because I'm in the house and my amazing heat gun is out of my studio, but I'm using my hair dryer just to speed up this process. So quick tip for you guys, if you do not have either a heat gun, you can definitely use a hair dryer, but always have one on hand because if you are uh, working on a project, it just speeds the drying process up. Now that the two coats of paint are completely dry, I'm coming in with a wet rag and we are going to wet distress these. This is one of the best things too about DIY paint is that you can very easily wet distress an item. It really cuts down on the amount of dust that you create and just by rubbing over the raised areas, it just really brings out all the details of these tiles. I just love the way this looks and I'm just, you guys, this is exactly the look that I was going for uh, when I decided, to, or when I came up with this idea. I'm like, this is what I want it to look like. I want it to be really like aged looking and like dark and it's going to look great with those doors. Now the last step, I laid it all out just to make sure I knew exactly that nothing had changed. I'm using my E6000 glue and then I'm going to just start around the edges, have a really nice even coat around the edges and then throughout the center I just blot it all like every which way uh, just to get full coverage and then I'm going to lay it down and it just rub all over and then that will completely adhere that to this piece. 
the E6000 glue does dry pretty quick, so I did not lift it up at all until it dries. I would highly recommend just leaving it lay flat till the pieces dry on there. The very last step that I did is I did take Big Top and I did apply one even coat over all three of the pieces that sealed um, the DIY paint right in. Uh, anytime you do use DIY paint, it can reactivate, so you do need to seal it. And uh, that is just a, a tip that I always tell everyone on my videos because uh, I've had heard, you know, why does my paint look dull or why does it look flat? Well, you do need to seal it. Otherwise, it will be reactivated. So now I can't wait to hear what you guys think of the finished product. All right, so now that you guys saw the doors, what do you think? Honestly, I know many of you were like, oh my gosh, you're painting over that chippy goodness. But the doors, they had some chippiness and then they were like non-chippy in other areas. And I really wanted to just add a little bit of a white vintage-y look. So I broke out vintage white uh, from DIY. And then I went back, like I said, with my sander and I distressed it. So I brought back some of that wood too. I absolutely love how they turned out. And I'm so excited that I am going to be keeping those babies for myself. So day 16, um, which is tomorrow, I am going to show you some things that I've recently flipped for my studio. And hopefully either day 17 or day 18, you are gonna get the full tour. It's not looking too pretty back here yet. I have a lot going on. Um, so it's gotta be absolutely perfect to show you guys what the studio looks like. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy your evening. And remember, you still have time to get on or get in on the Customer Appreciation Challenge. If you do wanna know all the details of that, go back to day one of the 25 days. Uh, it will show the five items. It will also give you all the details on how to qualify. But basically, like the video, share the video, and go ahead and make a comment below. Well, you guys have yourselves a great evening, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.